Hi, welcome. This is Jody from Northern Country Creations. And I've got another, just a little haul here, but I wanted to share with you real quick. Um, let's see. So I have this for 50 cents I got. And the date on it, where did I find it? 1957. And it's the Stork Bingo. And I love the retro on the cover, the colors. So there's a bingo card here. And then all these, it turns around. And then these little stork bingo cards. Aren't they so cute? And I love the pink color. And then a bonus I didn't know was in here until after I had gotten it home and went through it is these vintage, um, and I couldn't figure out what they were, but you fold it and then you attach these on the end or the, in the little slot and it makes little uh, bassinets um, that they probably filled with goodies because you can see there's a little bit of like grease or something. So, you know, like candy or something that they put in there. Um, so that was like a bonus that I, I got those in there. And then, um, and then all of the little tokens that are in there. I mean, the whole thing is complete and it was, that's just awesome for, for 50 cents. So that was great. And there's quite a few of these cards and I believe there's even some that have, um, uh, some extra, like they made their own and you can tell the. The ink on it has bled a little bit so um, that's kind of cool so yeah 50 cents for that I just thought that was awesome okay and then I got two of these it's a record book log national accounts book um, I don't see a date on it but it's got green, two-tone green line colored pages, all with a number stamped on it. And so that's pretty cool. I got two books of those, and one book has actual writing in it. Um, so yeah, I got that. That was just awesome. I was at a garage sale also, and... Um, I usually don't look through binders, uh, you know, these types of binders, but I opened it up and it is full of colored um, cardstock tabbed pages and they're purchased ones because they have the, the um, clear like sealant along the edges, you know, that you would find. So these are, they're, you know, retail, not homemade. Um, awesome and these will make great um, tags and whatnot so that was a great find I mean there's a ton of them in there it's full <clears throat> okay one of the other books I got because um, I'm working on two uh, recipe journals um, it's a Betty Crocker uh, so quick with new bisquick and it's kind of got this type of a spine uh, Let's see if I can find a date, 1967, and again, it's got um, all the cool colors and graphics in it, so that was just awesome. That was a great find. I found this one, Dandelion Cottage. It's I don't believe it's that old, but I really bought it for the cover. The cover is yellow. A vintage yellow dandelion cottage and this will make a great cottage or cabin book for a lady um, and it's actually um, the author the stories from uh, Marquette Michigan so that's kind of cool because I'm from Michigan um, so the books not old 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 vintage but it's 1997 so um, but again I got it for the cover and it's kind of a you know um, a really cool fabric on it and then I would use this inside the book so that was neat then 
then I got this Better Homes and Gardens Better Homes and Gardens Garden Book. And this is very old. 1954. And uh, everything looks intact, even the clear pages. Um, love the images in here. All the vintage, you know, pictures. Look at the roses. Um, I mean, the book is really great condition. Um, so I will definitely be using these pages in here. Um, and I believe there was some stuff stuck in here, if I remember right. Yeah, there's a blue envelope someday stuck in here. And then a recipe for plant food. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, great, great book. So I'll definitely be using that to make a journal. And look at the back. The back has all those florals on it. I love it. And the vegetables. Okay, then I have Betty Crocker New Dinner for Two Cookbook. Very vintage. Love it. It's in great shape. Um, I already washed all the covers. Um, this The cover is a little rounded, but um, I know how to fix that. So, And this is 19... Uh, 12th printing 1971 and again this has got all of your you know the beautiful beautiful colors in here and pictures and graphics um, so I can't wait to use this um, it's got some water staining on the bottom so I will use that and then um, it was uh, citywide garage sales, so I had went garage sailing and then went to a thrift store in the same city. And it's funny because I was at this garage sale for this one. The lady wanted $5 for this. Um, it's in pretty rough shape. Um, it's very, very bent, uh, you know. Um, and... It has water, lots of water staining, and the pages, some, some of the pages are kind of stuck together. Um, but she took two fifty dollars for it, um, and it's 1971. So, again, love the graphics, um, the beautiful colors. This will be really awesome. I like that picture. That's just really nice. I love that. Um, so this is 1971. And it's the Betty Crocker's New Boys and Girls Cookbook. Then I went to the thrift store and found the same book. Um, although this is got the wire binding. This is um, with a spine. This is... Uh, fifth printing, 1965. So it's kind of weird because... I thought this was more of an older version, but maybe not. Um, so this was newer, but it's in rougher shape. This is older and nicer shape. So, um, but the book isn't exactly the same, I don't think. Um, maybe it is, but um, again, you know, love the book. Um, yep, there's that picture there. So maybe it is almost the same type of printing. Um, so yeah, wonderful. Love it, love it, love it. And I think I paid 50 cents for this one. Okay, and then that same type of book uh, with the, ring, or the wire binding, Betty Crocker's Parties for Children. This was kind of neat too. Um, this one is um, 1972. And again, um, has lots of great colors, um, images, and the children having a party. Oh yeah, m musical chairs. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean it tells you all about all the games and how to have parties for kids. That's just so cool. I love this one a lot. So that. Um, I was at a garage sale and picked up, um, let me get these here, they had both of these books there, um, Wizard of Oz, 
and Lassie and the Secret of the Summer. And these, um, this one, the spine is coming apart, but the pages are all yellowed and aged. Um, the bigger um, font size, the large letters. Um, and I don't know if I looked up the date. I know I keep saying this, but I gotta get the Roman numerals down so I can figure out what the date on some of these are. So yeah, oh, there's something in here. Oh, a little library card. But these will make um, great vintage pages. And oh, look at this one with a beautiful blue color. Um, I just grabbed them. I didn't even look through them because um, I knew they they would make uh, great um, pages to embellish and layer up and yeah. So this is really cool because um, the pages are kind of you know worn. Okay, then I got. Um, a good and easy cookbook um, again with that type of binding in it I was just in very good luck having finding these kinds of cookbooks um, this one's 1954 um, again love the, the colors and the images um, oh look at that the old thermos just great Great, great books. You know, I love doing um, and watching actually um, uh, these types of hauls because then I can see what the insides of the book look like. Um, if I can't find it locally, then I can get online and try to look, and I already know what the book looks like on the inside. So that's kind of why I'm sharing um, my haul is so that you can see inside some of the books that I found and. Um, you know, maybe help you out. So, The Very Best of Friends. Uh, this is a Whitman book. Um, again, Roman numerals. Um, really cool. Really neat book. So, this looked really cool. I thought I'd get that for sure. And then, Easy Steps to Help, The Road to Health. I picked this book up right away because I knew it, you know, it looked old. Um, and let's see, um, 1949, so this was a good find. And this is like a reader style book and some of the pages are colored, some of them are black and white and just, you know, it's all about um, ways to protect your health and it's a chapter book. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, so yeah, I picked this up, um, and eyed it right away. So yeah, look at all these little, kind of like short stories, um, about your health. So that's kind of cool. I really like that. I might take this next to the bed and read it at night. Um, okay. And then I got Nature Through the Seasons. Um... This I thumbed through, and I really liked the pictures in here, and a lot of the images. Um, look at that. Uh, look at those. Those might be fussy cut out. I love I loved these, because these will make a great center page in, in the journal. And these, this has a string binding in it, so I'll easily be able to cut it and remove the pages. But I just love this, um, all these images in this book. So look at that. So this was a great book, Nature Through the Seasons. Okay, and then um, I got this, uh, 50 cents I believe it was. So it's just a little clear case in it. Um, um, somebody's dowel, dowel cuttings. Oh, these are, oh, that's a whole bunch of American Girl tags, 1994. Well, that's kind of neat. 
um, but nevertheless, um, I had all the doll clothes, and so these will be great for putting in the journals. Um, just awesome. You know, even though they're not vintage, but still, um, they're vintage looking. Um, yeah, look at those. Just cool. Love it. So, got that for 50 cents, and then um, I'll be able to use the case for, for something, for storage. Okay, then I picked up this binder just because I wanted the binder, not really the recipes, because um, it's it's not old, but I just picked up the binder um, to make, um, you know, another journal with it. And then um, I got a few of these basic cake decorating. Um, I have another one of these. Um, I love the colors in here. This one is cookies. The cover is missing. Um, what was the date of this? These are kind of like little, you know, little booklet recipe books. Um, but this is really sweet. Look at the, the wiener dog. <laughs> um, filled cookies, drop and bake. Um, yeah, this was just really cool. Oh, here's a colored page. Let's see what that was. Oh, look at that. It's a gift. Um, just different ways to uh, package up cookies for gifts. So these pamphlets were all like in a Ziploc bag for, I don't know, a quarter or 50 cents. Um, again, this is another vintage one. Um, 19... 1924? No, can't be. 1964. 1964. So that one. This one... Um, it's a part of a book, and it's the work basket. Um, this one doesn't have a cover or nothing, but it's remnants of one, and it's very, very old booklet. Um, so I'm going to cut that up and use it. Uh, our favorites, family and friends. Um, this is another vintage one. Um, well, somebody cut off a flower sack and um, or not a flower sack but a uh, package of a flower um, so yeah and this one's got some vintage looking recipes and things like I will cut them out and make these into tags and whatnot and I don't know if there was a date on that one so yeah those were my items that I got and um, that was a little haul but it was fun so um, yeah. So if you um, like watching my videos, please subscribe and share if you would and check out all my other ones. And hopefully everyone is having a great day. Thank you.